if you guys are going to look in this problem, what students initially always do is they always want to multiply by i, right? Because that's what we did in the last example. So if the student multiplies by i, though, on the top and the bottom, remember, we have to apply distributive property here, right? So therefore, I have a negative 3i all over 5i uh, minus 1, because i, i times i is i squared, which equals negative 1. Do you guys see, though, by multiplying by i on the top and bottom, I still have an i in the denominator, right? Yes? So by multiplying by i, when you have an expression, does not eliminate the i in the denominator. So what we need to do is, instead of multiplying by i, when we, so when we have a monomial, or just our imaginary unit, or imaginary number, we just multiply by i. But when we have an expression, we're going to multiply by the conjugate, which is going to be 5 minus i. And again, whatever you multiply in the denominator, you have to multiply in the numerator. So now I apply distributive property in the numerator, and I get negative 15 plus 3i. In my denominator, I'll put parentheses around this so I remind myself to apply FOIL. And then I'm going to get 25 um, plus 5i minus 5i minus i squared. Mr. McLogan? Yes? Could you please send Nadia Ray to the front office for a moment, please? OK. Thank you. Um, so now we can go ahead and simplify this. Well, what did you guys notice? Anything, if you guys remember, do you guys remember difference of two squares? Kind of the factor in the difference of two squares? Well, before you take your test, make sure you remember how to factor using difference of two squares. This is a product representing difference of two squares. Our middle terms add to 0. i squared goes to negative 1. Minus a negative 1 is positive 1. So I have negative 15 plus 3i all over 26. Does everybody understand where I got 26? Or does somebody want to raise their hand and ask me, where did I get 26? Everybody's good with how I got 26. Yes? Sure. I had 25 minus a negative 1. The 5i and the negative 5i go to 0. Neg i squared went to negative 1. Minus a negative 1 is positive 1. 25 plus 1 is 26. Is everybody OK? Mm -hmm. So that becomes 26. Now, this is fine, but is it in the form a plus bi? No. So we always want to make sure we write it in the form a plus bi. Remember, just like distributive property, 3 times you know, x plus 2, you distribute, right? So if I had x plus 2 over 3, you distribute that 3. OK? Same thing. So therefore, this can be written as negative 15 over 26 plus 3i over 26. A plus bi. Or you could also write the i at the end like that. Question. Questions? Just remember, guys, to share the property. If you're multiplying a number times an expression, you multiply to both of them. If you're dividing an expression by a number, you divide that number into both of them. So 26 is being divided into this expression. So 26 needs to be divided into both those numbers. Yes? Because negative 15, look at over here x plus 2 divided by 3. You can rewrite that as x divided by 3 plus 2 divided by 3. Do you understand that? Because same thing. When you multiply a number times expression, you apply distributive property. This is like distributive property, though, with division. So therefore, over here, the 26 divides into the negative 15, and the 26 divides into the 3i. Okay. Now, I can't simplify these fractions, but if you have fractions to simplify, you'd want to do that. Okay. So 